All right, so game number one of our bracket phase here. We have NFX on Fox Cobb with our, our Lucas Windsor's original Lucas, I believe, before Sidarius came out of nowhere. Oh my god, Cobb. <laughs> Getting that back air off stage, actually making a really quick work of that stock. Very nice. Now, so far this season, they've only played each other on one separate occasion where I believe it was NFX who got the, the better of him in that set. Now, no worries, Lucas. That big thunder comes pretty far. He actually missed the ledge, though, and he's going to get caught with the down smash. So a very even first game here on town. Okay, caught him bouncing, not teching that border. Do some extra damage. And effects got the pressure going. Little Cobb gets a grab. Now back throw. Almost sniping him off with the... Oh my god, he's going for it again. Pretty close. That magnet actually denied it into the up smash. Cobb taking game number one. So game number two here, going to Battlefield, keeping the same characters. Obviously, like I said earlier in the day, this is definitely Fox's playground. Able to extend his aerial combos. And also interrupts any sort of footstool shenanigans that Cobb may know. He's trying to get off that platform safely, but gets chased down. Finally, Cobb driving his way out of it. Goes for the read on an up smash, but luckily, NFX gets there, knocks him out of it before it actually comes out. Down air, up smash. Goes right into the corner. He's dead. NFX with a much stronger start compared to that first game. Okay, the pressure is on again. Trapping him on that platform. Okay. Cub is going for dash attack. Trying to get him off. Forward air going to send NFX off stage. NFX's pressure is much better the second game here. Keep him off stage once again. Now, if there's one thing that I'm noticing with this game here, as he gets down, air, up smashed once again, that counter pick really coming into NFX's favor. The cop was kind of willing to put himself above Fox, and that is pretty much the last thing you want to do. The up air pressure is just ridiculous. He can chase you for days. So landing on that top platform is probably not the best idea. And it looks like he's going to choose a stage that will allow him to avoid that more often. Here with Smashville for game number three. Let's see what happens. Okay, so I'll start. Okay. Almost gets 20%. Nice job using that magnet to try and slow his descent. Now the pressure is on once again from NFX. This is where it gets kind of scary. Another up air at a good height is probably death. Sitting above 100. Gets a back throw actually on that effect, though. So. Oh, <laughs> it actually clanked. He tried to go for the back air spike 
onto Fox, but the side B, the illusion actually clanks with it, so it doesn't fire the spike box. Now, Lucas with Rage is pretty scary. If you can get the uh, grab combo. Oh, damn. That's what I was about to explain it, but... Uh, and if it's finishing off that stock nice and quick. Okay, some better spacing. Allow him to land into some jabs. Knocks him off stage, but wasn't able to really follow up. Big forward smash at the ledge actually brings this game right to even. Okay, it looks like debating or considering the posture of NFX from that, from that last second there. Looks like he's not afraid to slow it down a little bit. But as I was thinking about that, it starts turning into an absolute jab fest. Okay, so... Okay, watch that platform, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna just wait for that platform to come in. Kind of puts himself above once again. Gets himself hit. Okay. Down air sends him off stage to the point where he can't get up smash, so that's alright. Oh my goodness. Cobb absolutely robs him. Sitting and kill percent, waits for him on the ledge and just spikes him down. <laughs> My goodness, Cobb.